Chasing down Mike Clover right now. Mike Clover talking with Clay, watching the replay up on Sunoco Vision. That was a wicked move down on the top end. Yeah, that was definitely Mr. Toad's wild ride. Illustrated West Buck Show for a few hours. And now we're rolling up here to one of my heroes. Oh, Lyle, he's back in a turbo car where he belongs. Look at him. I feel out of place. <laughs> What's up, dude? How, you doing, How are you, buddy? Good, man. How are y'all? Good. So crazy, but Lyle actually went out there and won his first Pro Mod race in that twin turbo. All right, y'all, we're at the Motorplex. Been here for a few days. Got some folks showing up here. Who we got hey, here? Hey, sir. Cali High School, auto check program, sir. Awesome, 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 awesome. All right, y'all. About 30 minutes away from needing to be in the staging lanes. Ignition problem. Change the grid, check the mags. Check the cables. We're working on it. Good lord, y'all, it has been a mad dash scramble. Um, end up having trouble with crank triggers. Car didn't want to start and run. We are late, but we're going to make it. Go up here, stop on that loud pedal. guys wild crazy trying to get ready to get up here like say ignition crank trigger stuff oh angry hornet that ain't a bad shut off is it brother no we did pop the panel yeah it was in the uh shut down you can ride Doug. come on Doug, come up front, you got up up front. front. so uh pretty good lap got one of my buddies in here doug Kalula. what'd you run dougie 79 79 awesome yeah, awesome puts you at the top right now i think it does i think we're number two right behind it we went 380 good solid run and uh i'm just going to tell you i'm a fanboy out right here this is for youtube doug by the way so uh i i feel like we are riding right now with who is one of the greatest drag racers of all time. I truly do think well, that about you. This <laughs> uh, happened to be out here racing against you guys. <laughs> he is, uh, he's one of the best ever and uh, I always appreciate running beside him. Unfortunately, somehow, some way, we've run each other way too many times this year, not in the final. Yeah, man. We need to move up a little bit here, and uh, this will be a good weekend to do it. Yes, it would. How about let's race in the final? That would yeah, be even better. That's where we need to be. Sure. <laughs> With scales, here in Texas, you got to do a half and half. It's like a... Uh, uh, roll the car on, to the, roll it up enough the slicks are on. All right. So, when I say half and half, half the car's on. Going to roll her up a little bit, put the other half on. And my buddies in there are gonna tell us what it weighs. It's gonna be about 23.55, something like that. Just like I said, 23.55. Uh, the half and half scale sometimes are a little goofy, y'all, but that's how they used to be. I don't know why it popped the first panel. Uh, oh, I know, I bet I know. Driving into the RF, you know, oh. those chutes open, I was just letting. Oh. Trying to let it coast as much as I could. 
That was nice, bro. It was way more than I was expecting you were going to have there. <laughs> Which we, with all the craziness, it wasn't like we had a lot of time to talk about what you were doing. Well, I planned on, you know, I, I worked on yes, the, this setup yesterday, so I was, I was ahead of the curve. New run. That's what we want. A new download. I went a little further than our normal test. Not a lot, but just, I was like, shit, it's going good. It feels good. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> but don't lie. Through retard, pretty good. Power levels okay. Yep. It's pretty. Got a little bit fast drive shaft speed early. The G meter says it was just, just an easy. Yep. We probably gave up some 60 foot with spin. Yep. A little bit. Um, just don't have no, you know, no tug. I mean, it got with it pretty good out here. I think that's why I went a little further, because it's like, damn, it's going pretty good. Yeah, probably about the time you're thinking about shutting off. It's like, hey, it's still got pretty good. Mm -hmm, it's yeah. still pulling yeah, hard. <laughs> it was. And I was like, oh, but I always follow my instructions, but something on the table yep including grubby what did he do they both went 76 i believe oh, well we would have went better than that uh, let's see we would have been close to 76 so, so we went uh 287 yep 287 so let's just say we went uh 320 not a 330 car nope so that's three is 43. Uh, that's that's uh, probably 700s. So fuck, we'd have gone 74. That was a 74. Yep. If it goes 320, if it don't go 320, it's going to go 76. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Oh, look at the pop at the far end. I'll okay. see what made the burst panel come out. I gotta be honest. When Dougie was zooming by me, so I, I ain't gonna tell you I heard it, but it had to. Right here. Yeah, but you wouldn't think that would have knocked the burst panel out. No big ones. You know, no, no 60s in there. Right. Because we've seen it go to the top of the page oh, down yeah. there. Yeah, like I said, that was a all RF. That's the old bang, 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 bang. Yep. Yes, sir. It is time for Friday night qualifying. We are here in Dallas for the Stampede of Speed. They're doing something special here tonight. $15,000 for low ET of this run right here. So uh, we got this old girl tuned up, ready to go. Go out there and try to get 15 grand for one single run. Low ET, 15 grand. We are sitting here ready to go. I love it. A little extra incentive, but we're not the only ones to be swinging. Everybody gonna be swinging, don't you think, brother? Oh yeah, everyone. <laughs> Everybody gonna be swinging. But we're ready. All right, y'all. Very weird situation. We pulled up to the starting line at what time? Eight o'clock? Uh, yeah. I don't know if y'all can see that. It is now 1037. Me, 
Mike and Doug. Really, me and Mike. <laughs> <laughs> the risk was not worth the reward. It's not. Even with the extra money, just the, the later it gets, the track is cooling down. People keep oiling down the track. And no one's going down it. It just sours everything. So what all that means is it's past Doug's bedtime. That's what it means. Yeah. We uh, we elected not to make that run just financially for our team. It's not the right thing to do. It's 15 grand, but we could waste way more than 15 on something like that. All right, guys. We'll get this thing ready for tomorrow. All right. Q3. We are up here and ready to go. Got Preacher Andy rolling up here. But we're ready to go for Q3. Got a little sleep last night. Most of the teams did not. We will uh, go out here and stomp on the loud pedal. Y'all see what happens. the motor looks clean he didn't mention the driver but I did take a shower this morning uh, but our car smells good got that crazy uh, wild Willie's fuel fragrance in there it is kind of cool ain't it? it is it's pretty cool and it <laughs> smells just like what they say fruit loop smells just like fruit <laughs> so we're having fun with that uh, obviously just made our run here 382 314 uh, I told Mike on the radio felt a little lazy early and been then he, he put the bean steward through the middle. This baby uh, had some serious acceleration through the middle. The G's were really nice. And then uh, put a hole out coming up on the finish line. Only went 314. And of course, I say this all the time, only 314. But uh, numbers were 846, 213, 309, 273. As the old angry hornet just said, motor's clean makes us all happy even Chris is happy oh yeah I didn't tear your tires up that's a great thing I appreciate that one <laughs> <laughs> all right guys see y'all in a bit I'm surprised it went so slow it had huge G's through the middle and like I say it was like it didn't have any mile an hour no but it, it like well I mean I said it on the radio it just felt a little lazy early and then it had big G's and then just kind of eased up and finished it I'm kind of surprised at the half track mile an hour for the G's that it felt like it got, but I guess it just didn't have enough going early. That looks okay. Looks like we just had a lot of clutch out of it. Drive shaft speed's a little slower early. Yeah. Must have put a hole out. Yeah. Down here. Yep. Yeah. Damn. Number eight is a quitter. All right, we are rolling up. Last qualifier is hot as fire. It is hot my, as fire. Got you got a hot rod tune up in that rocket? I got I got to race my hero right here. Oh, we're racing First together? time ever. Yeah! Yeah! High five. High five. We need to That's do a little wager awesome, on this. Dude. Yes. A little grudge? A little yeah, grudge. right now. A little grudge right now? Right now. 100 bucks. 100 bucks. <laughs> what are we wagering though? Turbo versus nitro. Whoa, 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 no, not me. Oh, oh, I'm talking oh, about oh, y'all. Oh, oh, oh. Schwartz, Schwartz <laughs> called me out. In what? In his car. He said he something on his video about uh, if I give him the back tire. I'm thinking he's in trouble if that's all I got to give him is the back tire. He Who's must have drank too much. Oh, Justin, gosh. little country. He drank, he drank too much before he made that bet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or whatever they do down there in Jeffrey. Yeah. Yeah. This is cool. This is cool. I Long like long as the lineup don't get screwed up, it is me and you. Yeah, all right. Cool. What a cool surprise. Every 12 seconds. Work and jump.
down there on the lights. 374, Clay Milliken, 324 miles an hour. Mike Clover's showing off a little bit. That will put him in the top half of the field. Clay's car made a wild move down there at the finish line. First, I'm looking forward to catching up with Joe Costello on the starting line. Chasing down Mike Clover right now. Mike Clover talking with Clay, watching the replay up on Sunoco Vision. That was a wicked move down on the top end. Yeah, that was definitely Mr. Toad's wild ride. I tell y'all all the time, whenever she wants to talk to me, <laughs> that, means, to us. that means something good. We're ready with Clay. All right. I got the world famous Billy Joe. Got AB checking out that time slip. AB, it it's hot. Woo! It's hot out here. It it's is. hot. But you know what? We're in Dallas, baby. Exactly. Everything's big in Texas. It is. Tomorrow's a big day. Clay just made a big run. We all trying <laughs> to catch him. I tell you what, there ain't no finer people in the planet than these folks right here. I've known them way too long. Years, I'm, I'm, Years. I'm saying that because I don't want to talk about how old we are. <laughs> no, 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 no. We ain't we old, brother. We, we just grew up together. We did grow up together. <laughs> Oh, we did grow up together. Uh, but we we did. We made a good run. A.B., what'd you run? I didn't see it. We went a 79. Oh, that's good. It was good. The good part is we picked up a 60 foot. We, I mean, we just went easy down there. We've just been working on trying to get our car to short time. So yeah. We made an improvement, so that's a good thing. So we know we're going in the right direction. And tomorrow's a big day. we got to get ready for race day. Yeah. All right. I always tell you what we run, but the time slip I was handed, it only had to... E.T. and my alarm, so I don't know. I, I ain't got no cheaters on. I'm too old to see that. Oh. A.B. call it off. Oh, you went, oh, you killed it. 8.30 to 11, three flats. I mean, three old. Oh, that was my. You need some cheaters, too. No, three flat and went 3.74.5. Nice. See, that's where you got us at. So you made a half track. You can pay the half track 500 as quicker than we did. Heck yeah. That's what it takes. You got to get them short numbers. Make them big numbers on yes, the big sir. one. Oh, Mike's pretty good on the short numbers. We can't run them big speeds. Whoa! We hadn't figured that out yet. Oh, but we will. Oh, that's all I, I love y'all. I said I love y'all. So Donna just asked me, was I texting and <laughs> top fuel driving? It was wild, wasn't it? A little bit. Did it make you nervous? No. I don't make her nervous. My wife trusts me. <laughs> Behind the wheel. <laughs> All right, these boys right here just laid the smack down. Seven right Good job, everybody. That wasn't looking at the scoreboard right there, brother. That was wild. That was a ride. All right. Man, I, I thought after I saw that first big move hard one way that that was going to be it. And it swings back the other way, and it swings back to the middle, and I'm like, he ain't shutting off. Oh, ran good. <laughs> so I'm oh, dying man. to see what it shows because, like I told you on the radio, it either is a bump, uh -huh. because I felt something clump, or it locked up like really hard. Uh, well, it one or the other. This might have locked up really hard. I'm gonna see in a second here. But for sure, I felt something, and then the car got wild. Felt something, and then the car got wild. All right. Oh, wow. She clumped hard. Ooh, Lordy, there you go. Lordy. That's what you... Oh, and it got loose down there. Yeah. Holy moly. See if it actually picked the front wheels up. Oh, I'm getting ahead of the game here. I'm uh, sorry. Front, that's okay. Front wheel. Yep. Yeah. 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 That's like five disc days, bro. <laughs> so my butt initially told me it was a bump, but then as I was coming back, I'm like, that's like locked the clutch up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, we're laughing. You can't see the G-meter, but we're laughing because we can see the G-meter. <laughs> now you know why I didn't shut off. <laughs> yeah, hello. Holy mackerel. All right, Mike. That's a 6.25 Gs in the middle of the run. So take off what you don't want everybody to see. Uh, we got to show this to, to, to our folks. Okay, Let's, they can they can see all this. All right, so point some lines out and tell them what you're right, looking so at. All right, so this this is this is the the G meter. So the yellow. so when he fe says he feels like he hit something, he did. The tires hit him in the butt, <laughs> making the car go. It said I'm doing um, five G's here, uh, but when I get up here, we're doing six and a quarter G's. Oh wait. 
I saw a six and a half, I think, that a spike there. That's crazy. That's six, six and a quarter, you're right. That's nuts. 6.2. Yep. 6.22 to be exact. Not not quite six and a quarter, but but it's pretty good because it's because it's holding five and a half G's, you know, out here. That's all acceleration. Because the tires ain't slipping. And um, this and this yeah. right here that you all are looking at, that's the front wheels coming off the ground at, at two and a half seconds. Which is over two hundred miles an hour. Oh no, it's a uh, mile per hour. Oh yeah, we're, it's 204. Yeah. So a, a fella might wiggle if he's pulling <laughs> the front end at 204 miles an hour. Yeah, it might get the car upset a little bit, <laughs> yanking the front end off the ground like that. Uh, uh, we might have to work on that. Oh, uh, that was awesome that it held on. Holy moly. So I rode back with AB and he was looking at our time slip. He's like, uh -huh. we gotta make our car move early like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Well, what's really nice is it stayed on eight cylinders even with all the Wiggling. slipping and spinning because it did spin the tires down there. That's because uh, we see the G's going down here, so that's yeah. a, you know. Oh, geez, I wonder what the lateral G's look like. Whoa! Holy moly. <laughs> Holy moly. Look at those lateral G's change. Holy crap. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the tire slip from. Yep. from uh, getting out outside of the G circle. <laughs> exceeded the maximum capability of the tires adhesion. Oh. That's crazy. Yeah, so here's the first big wiggle, and then this is the hard one going back, but yikes. <laughs> it was pretty scary, pretty scary. Didn't carry the front end much leaving. No, nope. not as much as we've been seeing it, but I'm not unhappy. I'll take it. Yep, me too. Me too. Oh, got three and four good. Good polish. It was it was number two. It front, it front pulled end. the half in front end up at two hundred and something miles an hour down there. Take a wild guess who we got. Come Great on before. down. Come on now. Doug Clinton. No, you're close. Don't Sean Lehman. <laughs> so Donna, I I told you it was one or two things. It locked the clutch up hard enough. It went into a wheelie down there. <laughs> it did. It did. Oh, uh, yeah, the clunk was the front end hitting the ground. <laughs> yeah, that was the clunk. Yeah. Oh, it clunked. When the front end hits yeah. the ground, oh, it clunked. It, it clunked. You feel it. It's it's yeah. it's solid. And it, and it upsets the car. It was upset. What we ought to do is. Well, we have to, I don't know. We can't squeeze you in, probably. Okay. Because that would be towed you around so you could see how rough the fucker rides. Oh, no, I'm good. The Thanks. fucking no, race car in the parking lot. Yeah, yeah it's just, right. yeah, just yeah. fucking yeah. solid frame. Solid. Fuck it. Clank, 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 clank. Body. Freaking.